Hello tech people, welcome back to Tech Talkies. In this video, we will see a few ways to program an ESP01. It is one of the smallest ESP boards you can get and the most inexpensive one too. So let's get started. As you can see right away, the board itself is not breadboard friendly. You can either run jumper wires to your programmer or just make a simple hack. Cut a piece of 4x4 PCB. Place it on two rows of header pins like this and solder them. Then add two rows of female header pins on the top center. It might be easier to bend the pins and solder them on top. And your ESP01 is now breadboard friendly and ready to be programmed. Now, before we start programming, keep in mind that this is a 3.3 volt device and you should not connect it to 5 volts in any case. Okay, the first and the most common way is using an Arduino Uno. Connect the power rails to 3.3 volts and ground of the Uno. Then connect the RX to RX, TX to TX, ground to ground, CHPD or EN to 3.3 volts. VCC or 3V3 to 3.3 volts. Connect a push button between RST and ground. Connect GPIO0 to ground to enable programming mode. If you already have the ESP boards installed, please skip this section. Open Arduino IDE, go to File and Preferences. In the Preferences window, find the Additional Boards Manager URLs section. In that text box, go to the end of the line Add a comma and paste the URL for the ESP boards. The URL and all the other details are linked in the description. Click on OK and wait for the boards to get installed. Then open the board manager and search for ESP8266. Install this. Next, go to Tools, Board and ESP8266 and select Generic ESP8266. Let's set the pin 0 to input. Then we are making a simple LED blink sketch with a delay of 1 second. We need to put the board in programming mode to upload the code. For that, we have already connected the GPIO0 to ground. We just have to reset the board. So. Click Upload and when the output window says Connecting, press the button for one second and release it. It will take a while, but eventually it should start uploading. Personally, I find this method to be a bit unreliable and slow. Once upload is complete, let's check if the uploaded code is working. Connect an LED with a resistor. Remove the GPIO0 from ground and connect it to the LED and press reset. The LED should start blinking. Next up, using an FTDI 232 USB to TTL converter. It is very important that you put your power jumper here to 3.3 volts. The wiring remains the same for the most part. Remove the LED and put the GPIO0 to ground again. Connect the VCC and ground. Then connect RX to TX and TX to RX, unlike what we did with the UNO. In the Arduino IDE, select the new port number accordingly. If you do not see your converter here, you will need to install the drivers. You can download them from the FTDI website. Let's change the code a little so that we know that our new code is uploaded properly. I'll just make the blinking faster. Then hit upload. With this method, you don't need to press the reset button. Once uploaded, we cannot power the ESP01 using the serial adapter. It will not work. So I am supplying an external 3.3 volts and checking with our LED. It works. Next up, using a dedicated ESP01 USB adapter, these things are pretty cheap and hassle-free because you don't have to wire anything. Well, almost. First, let's remove all the extra components from our setup. Then, plug the ESP01 in the adapter and plug that into the computer. 
but we still cannot program the ESP01 using this adapter as we cannot put it in programming mode. We can do this by soldering a push button across the GPIO0 pin and the ground of the adapter, like this. Now, all you have to do is hold down this button while plugging it to the USB, and we should be able to upload the code. Now, let's put it back on our breadboard and check. It works. This is a great option if you are not using any of the I.O. pins and only using the Wi-Fi. You can even plug into a wall adapter. Also, the newer version of this board comes with a switch built-in to program the ESP01 so you don't have to solder anything. But if you also need to use the I.O. pins, there is a middle ground option. You can either make your own simple board like this or buy one. They are very inexpensive, but you will still need an Arduino or a USB serial converter to program it. But all the GPIO pins are easily accessible. There is an onboard voltage regulator, so you can plug five volts directly. You can also simply put a jumper here to put it in programming mode. If you want to buy one of these or any other boards mentioned in this video, I will leave links in the description. Now, if you are having trouble uploading with any of these methods, there are a few ways to troubleshoot. Firstly, always double check your wiring. Next, if your wiring is correct, your serial monitor should show you details from the ESP01. Make sure the board rate is set to 74Con880. Then reset once, and if you see something like this, your wiring should be correct. Note the boot mode in this. If it starts with a 3, then the ESP is in normal mode. If it starts with a 1, it is in programming mode. So, connect GPIO0 to ground and reset again. You should see this. The boot mode is 1, and you should be good to upload. If you are getting errors while connecting using an Arduino, try connecting the ESP01 directly to the Arduino without using a breadboard. That helps sometimes. If you are having trouble with the CH340 USB adapter, you might want to check your driver version. I found that 2019 driver works, but the latest driver did not work. So, try downgrading your driver if you have problems with this adapter. Comment if you used any of these methods in your project or if you have any questions. Like and subscribe for more tech content.